So since I showed you guys the rough knob tail geckos just the other day, the Nepharis MEAs, I figured I would show you guys the smooth knob tail geckos today. These are Nepharis Levis, and uh, our pair is adult size. So you can see the male is quite small. The male is actually an, a lot nicer looking than the females. He's a lot brighter. He almost looks hypo, but I've seen real hypo Levis, and they're just incredibly red. This guy is actually a really nice light brown, almost orange even. But um, these guys are a lot more tolerant whoop, of handling. He's going to act a little bit crazy right now just because he actually had an eye cap. Um, he didn't shed properly over his eye. So I just had to remove that. So I had to rough him up a little bit. He's not too happy. But you guys could see right away that he's not trying to bite or anything like that. Um, again, knobtails don't really like being handled, but the smooth knobtail gecko is probably accepted better than any of the others. So here's a female. Whoop. You can see she is also adult size, and uh, this is typically how they look, the Levis. They're a lot darker than that male. That male is like a real exceptional example. But, um... These geckos just have some of the most incredible eyes. Let's see if I could get that to show up. I'm trying to get her to stay still and focus the iPhone here. And she is not having any of it. Um, there you go. But yeah, these geckos just have amazing eyes. Huge eyes too. And they're very pretty. I would say that the Levis is probably the prettiest, in my opinion, of um, the knobtail geckos. However, I would say the rough knobtail gecko is actually the coolest looking, which kind of sounds weird that I find one the, like cool looking and this one beautiful. But I really just like the markings on these guys. Um, I find, however, the MEAs, uh, the uh, you know, the kind of like their, their, their scales are just really cool and their size is cool also. Get a nice size. Yeah, quite a, uh, a deal bigger than these guys, as you guys will tell from my last video. Um, but as for housing, these guys are basically kept the same way. And again, you guys can see, accepting handling a lot better than the MEAs would. But these guys, you could actually keep them in the 12x12s, just because they're smaller. Uh, ideally, you want to give them a lot more sand. Uh, the reason why the sand's so low right now is that eventually I'm going to be changing up the sand. I don't know why the video is coming out so foggy. Um, anyways, I'm going to be changing out the sand pretty soon. If you give these guys enough sand, they'll actually make uh, really crazy elaborate tunnels. Um, especially if you're moistening the sand like you should be doing every couple of days. And there's the other female. So, that's the video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the Nepharis Levis. Uh, these guys are one of the easier ones to breed. Easier than the rough knobtail geckos. About the same thing as the banded knobtail geckos, the Wheeler Eye, which is probably the next ones I'm going to show you guys. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, take care, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Thanks.